What is up, YouTube? What is up, family? We got Kid Rock, We the People. A Patreon request. This is the first time we got Kid Rock on this channel, as a matter of fact. You're waiting for me to say who's Kid Rock? Sorry, I actually know who Kid Rock is. Uh, Sweet Home Alabama, man. Love that song. Every time I hear it, I blast it. Matter of fact, it's on my playlist in the car. I love that song. So I do know who Kid Rock is and a few others that he that he did that he did that I did like. But I have to admit, we the people I have never heard of. I'm not gonna lie, I have never heard of this one. So only one way to find out. Let's go, Kid Rock. We the people. I have a feeling. I have a feeling though. We the people involves we the people. Yeah, I think I know where this is going. Let's go. He's not wrong. <laughs> it don't take a rocket scientist what he just said it's so freaking true oh man this guy wow i didn't know he was i did not know he was this patriotic let's just say that <laughs> Keep fighting, but but we gotta keep fighting. You see what's in the background? Well, uh, I'm sorry, but it don't matter who the hell the president is. That has been going on forever. That's a big problem. That uh, clearly there's no end to it. I think we uh, when you go down in the list of countries around the world with the most school shootings, we are. We are number one, like, I'll put it to you this way. Number one, let's just say the number's like a thousand. Number two on the list is like 12. <laughs> that is how insane those stats are. So I'm sorry, you, your politics and presidents and all your rules and shit, whatever. It's Our kids are nuts, essentially. They're just straight up nuts. For the right to be free, and every human being doesn't have to agree. Mm. And every human being doesn't have to agree. Uh, amen. I mean, amen, brother. Amen, brother. 100%. We all bleed red, brother. Listen to me. It's time for love and you right he is right if me if we all come together in unity and we stop i'm telling you the zombies out there they want you to hate each other they want us to hate each other they want us to pick something and say we don't like that about that person we hate that person we don't like that person. see the problem with this country is that person <gasps> the problem with this country is that person this way you forget the real problem the half dead politicians that with a heartbeat that are running this country 
All right, that's the main problem. But if we're so focused, oh, that guy's black. Oh, <gasps> that's an Asian. Oh, that wh that's white trash over there. If we concentrate on that, we completely forget about the real problem. And that's what he's saying. If we just came together and had a nice civil war. Uh, did I say that out loud? Anyway, we could fix things, is what I'm saying. Drum set. If you're down with love and want to make things better, all we gotta do is just come together. Weather the storm, take my hand, and follow my lead to the promised land. Cause we the people, we gotta unite and follow that good time guiding light. Climb aboard this love boat and rock that bitch up and down the coast. Form a more perfect union to ordain and establish this constitution for the United States of America. He did not know that he was that Republican. <laughs> there's Democratic and Republican, liberals, and then there's Republicans and Democrats. That is a Republican. <laughs> Listen, whatever. I'm not. We're not going to discuss politics because we're, you know the humanity is not capable of talking politics without literally trying to kill each other. All I'm going to say is uh, you got every right to feel that way. You can agree. You can disagree. If you want to disagree, I mean, if you want to make some points on anything that he said that you feel is incorrect, by all means, throw them up in the comments. Because um, I didn't see too much wrong with what he said. I just, you know, I'm not going to lie. Now, you know, Biden. Biden's a disaster. I'll just say and that, you know, again, that's that's my opinion. I have the right to my opinion. You might say, well, Trump was a disaster. You, that's absolutely, you're, that's okay. You can see, absolutely. But over the last 10 years, have you seen this country getting better? I mean, there's been multiple presidents. See, my thing always has been, I mean, what the president barely has power to do anything because you still got to vote and the old, you know, 98-year-old half-dead people get to decide whether the president can go ahead and do what he wants to do. And half the time they say, no, nah, you can't do that. No, you can't do that either. So I don't really understand the president thing anyway. But as I said, you know, Trump did a lot of stupid shit. He also did some good things. But he did a lot of stupid shit too. But, good God. You, you want to name the other presidents that we got? That you want to claim didn't do any stupid shit? Go ahead. Throw them in the comments. Anyway, you know what? Don't even do that. This is about music. It's Kid Rock. It's We the People. It's how, 
it's just yet another song. We've had like 50 of these now in the last five years that are just, you know, people that are just tired. We're sick and tired now, right? He said it. Inflation goes up. Minimum wage goes up. What the hell's the difference? No difference. It's the same shit with, with the housing market. People are like, oh, hey, my wife drives me crazy with this one. She's like, you know, if we sold our house right now, do you know how much money we would make? Where are we going to live, though? We sell the house. We make all this money. Now we got to buy another house. What do you think that other house is going to cost us? So if we made like 200000 profit because the housing market's ridiculous and the prices are insane, there's no difference. Now I have to buy a house for a ridiculous price. That's insane. So wait, wait, it makes no difference. It's the same shit with our economy. And the poor people out there, the working class, they got to do 80 hours a week just to feed their family. While the others, 1%, just look at their monitor and go, oh, honey, made 52 million today. It's pretty good, right? Yeah, hon, that sounds good. 52 million, you know, big deal. When you're worth 200 billion, 52 million, big deal. It's just like, oh, we made 52 million. Anyway, you, you get my point. It's, it's, there's an extreme difference in balance. No more middle class. I don't want to hear nothing about middle class no more. That doesn't exist anymore. It's either work your ass off and be poor or just breeze through life with your billions and millions. Although I think these days, if you're a millionaire, you literally could say, wow, hon, a million sure isn't what it used to be. Really? I mean, think about it. A million dollars? Gone. So quick, if you think about it. And not by buying those stupid shit like a Lamborghini or anything. Like, a million dollars, gone in an instant, if you think about it. Just think about all the things you have to buy, maintain, and then and then you want to retire, right? You don't want to work till you're 80. Like, they want you to. They want you to work till you're 80 and then die. So you ain't got to pay social. But, that's, see? Now I'm ranting. Now I'm rambling. And I, and, nope, not going to do it. I'm done. Goodbye. Kid Rock, We the People. I loved it. Great song, great music. And for me, mostly all facts. Mostly all facts. Although, you know, the guy, the guy was, you know, the kids shooting people up in the schools. I don't know what to tell you about that one. Ain't no president going to change that. Whether you're Republican, Democratic, I mean, our kids are just killing people in schools. They're psycho. I don't know, they're just absolutely psycho. I, they did uh, some sort of a... Uh, some sort of stat that showed the United States, obviously, I mean, this is a no-brainer, has the most school shootings in the world. But what was really insane was, I'm just going to put the number out, like the number was a 1,000. Let's just say a 1,000 a year. Uh, the second number of the second country with the most school shootings was like 18. So it was like literally that kind of a difference in number, like a 1,000, 18. I got, the numbers might be completely wrong that I'm saying, but I'm just saying, like, I mean, I know we don't have a thousand a year, although whatever. But like, since they've happened, the number is literally like 600, and the second country with the most is like 12. It's like insane difference. So your 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 politics and your governments and your presidents aren't doing anything about that. That's not being fixed. So I'm just saying, like, you know, that scene where he's there and the kids in the back with his rifle. I mean, I don't know what the point is because Trump didn't fix that. Biden hasn't fixed that. Again, presidents, rinse, repeat, country, same problem. Oof, I could talk another hour. I really have to go now. I have to stop. You guys probably aren't even watching by now. It's okay. I get it. I get it. I rambled. I got to stop doing that sometimes. But this gets me off. All right. Take care. Peace out. Have a good night.